after them all. I thought I'd play another auto pairing match, but this time uh, on the three minute and first of five, just the first of five games. So if I win, then it's one. If the if any opponent on the auto pairing sequence wins, then auto pairing one, etc. So first of five um, on three minutes. I was playing it, I think, with knight c6 today, not c5. <coughs> Okay, can I get a good position here? Nope, probably not. Um, that looks as I've fallen into a trap basically. That's pretty horrible. Uh, maybe I can take here. Um, Not not too hot. <clears throat> uh, get some pressure on the queen. So queen f six and maybe rook a e eight. Okay, nasty pin. I'll let this to save a seven at least. Maybe I can take with knight takes c five anyway. Um, can I try and undermine d five? At d five knight. I was looking up a little bit here. Uh, but still, I'm just a piece down, really. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so nothing really to attack at the moment. Uh, about queen f4 for knight. Second queen, queen f4 for knight f2. Seven now gets worse. Yeah. Mm. I think this is over actually. Uh, this is completely over. He's using the back row thing quite expertly. So I'll resign that. Two more moves, I don't know. I'm losing the knight, it's hopeless, it's totally hopeless. Okay, so that's 1 0 to the auto pairing on 3 minute. Um. <clears throat> that was horrible. <laughs> it's got to be said. Uh. This guy's got a more natural pace to him than the previous person, so. Um, I don't know. Uh, okay, so C2, I'll protect it with artificial move. I've seen that before, Nigel Short playing like an artificial move like that sometimes. I'm not sure it's that good, but it does protect C2, it's functional. So, um, Queen of Friend, Knight D5, because there's a pin on E6. Um, 
That's interesting. Oh, whoa, oh, we're just queen of three. Oh, almost knight d5. I think queen of three here for knight d5. Ah, okay, so knight d5 again for bishop f5, actually. That would be cool. And then queen d5 coming into d6 potentially. Okay, anything stronger? If I take now the bishops drop queen d6. Okay, I'll just just move that. I think. Right. Um. Okay, so e6. Just trying to get the dark square bishop going. Looks dangerous. Uh, so I think queen e3 and queen e5 in. Just get that e6 pawn, maybe. And there's queen d5 coming up. Looks kind of crushing. Uh, hmm, right, I'll make some precautions for my king. I don't want g3, I think g5, uh, bishop's lots are here. Okay, so bishop d6, the c5. Bishop c5 check could be useful. Actually, I've, I've guarded f8 anyway. So, what about bishop g2 and queen d5? Still, no, he has to waste time taking this to get the queen to b1. So, bishop g2 and queen d5. Okay, so queen d5 here. On, on like bishop c5 or queen c5. Again, now there's bishop g2. This is pretty menacing. I think it's over. There's bishops out of the game, but this rook's out of the game. That was out of the game. Uh, so bishop g2 here. And there's bishop c5 as a threat to get to c6. He's got maybe to try to get to the first row though for a mating thing with like. Well, he can't go there to get the queen to b1. Is to get this out of the way to get the queen to b1 first. Okay. If I've thrown a check here. Actually, can I just take and then take on c2? It's quite simple. Okay, so it's one all. One all on the three minutes. So I'm pressing f uh, using another use the find button. I'm using three above here. I've got I've got one set for the default is five minute and nine is my one minute. But I'm pressing three again. <clears throat> um. By the way, I think this might be a good time to plug. Um, an online site. If you if you're suspicious of someone, there's a great site which is really evolving uh, well at the moment. Uh, if you type in your browser chesspo.st, um, there's an engine analysis option. So if you think you've been cheated online, paste your PGN of the game score in. Um, on ICC, we we'll just put like PGN, and I think you get it. And then there's an option to analyze online. Um, I think I was surprising with d5. I know it's crazy, but I've got a good feeling about such a move. Just to disturb the opponent at this time limit. Just getting a bit of control of d4 immediately, for example. Uh, so knight, you know, like knight g4 is also also menacing now after g3, potentially. Okay, so it's a bit passive, I think. Maybe just b5, b4, just. Just putting a major pressure on bishop a6. I think there's compensation for the pawn now. <coughs> Already. Um, so I'm being totally um, over optimistic. Uh, taking on f2 probably is optimistic. This knight doesn't look good on a4. Uh, I just want to play bishop a6 if knight f3. So if knight e2. Is played. <clears throat> Maybe bishop a6 anyway. I think f4 will be discouraged later. 
because uh, of that, that pin on, on the knight. Um, ah, okay. Queen a5 just to provoke b3. This knight's a bit stranded. Uh, I'm going to try and just. I don't know. Now it's tricky, I guess. Yeah, knight b6 into force. Something to do with this knight or pressure on the a file. Okay, uh, kingside attack. I can take it on c4 with this b6 knight. Um, do I want to sack the exchange here? Maybe. For knight h5. Sort of a fortress with support on f4. Block, blocked in bishop. So if I play like knight h5 and g6, I can imagine a bind on f4 here. I'll do that. Um, and that's g6 to support the knight, or knight g3, knight f4. Otherwise, g6. Um, if I castle queen side, I think that would be a nice position intuitively for this time control anyway. So, so okay, things are hotting up. This knight needs to move at some point or not. Not yet. My queen's out of the action, it's all about f6. I'm just depriving the queen of g5 just in case. And now the dark squares. Okay, he's on the knight. I thought I'd have to protect it. There's a bind on the dark squares here, all got my knight f4 in. Yeah, I could try and wrench open the g file, but this bishop remains blocked in as well. So I'm hoping I've got some pressure now. Um, maybe I get queen g7 or f3 if the queen moves off. Queen g7, rook g1, there's bishop f2. Well, I'll go for that. Mind you, bishop f3. Just bishop f3. Okay, time to do something else. Let's check. Whoops. Check again. Could be in trouble. Okay, I'll try and block this D file. That'll be good. Reinforce D file. Exchange off C8. Oh, maybe. He's not going to accept that, is he? Um, get over here. Maybe Bishop F7. Just to try and win H5. Is he going to take? Otherwise, he's giving me the option. Always oh, giving me the option. Um, mind you, I've got a bit of a, a wall at the moment. So hang on, what about just Bishop F7 for the moment? Uh, oh, let's go for that. Let's go for that. Um, okay, so this this guy is going to be difficult. Okay, I'll try and get a blockade. Get this lifted, get my own pawns working. Is that possible? Or it could be could be Harry. Could try and win this pawn. Is that too materialistic? Bishop G three. Uh, protect this guy, I think. Uh, trying to evict the king or something. Or if takes some rook D seven Almost as if I'm mating the king. Little, little trap. Uh oh, no, no, no. no. Another blockade point. This is getting a bit hairy. Oh, okay, do I accept that one? I think I probably do. I don't think the rook's going to have such an easy time. Mind you, my bishop hasn't got too many squares.
I just lost on time. <laughs> it's 2 1. I lost on time after all that. After we blundered a rook. Ah. Uh. <laughs> That's gutting. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. So, 2 1. Ah. Uh. I just beaten him in the previous game anyway. Ah. Oh. Dear oh dear. Okay, I am. Um So trading two one in this match against the ICC auto pairing. Maybe A5 is sometimes useful. Uh, don't want to fall into that horrible thing last time. Okay, so Bishop G4 here, I think. And Queen E7 castles Queen side. Is the way to play it now. So it takes Bishop C6. So Queen E2, Queen E7 just about holding. This looks okay. This looks much better than the other game. Um, so far, I, I believe. Uh, Queen e2, maybe king f7. Could I castle queen side there? I don't think so. Mind you, h5 is tempting. Oh, I don't know. h5 is not that tempting, actually. Yeah. And c5 is a problem. Oh dear, c5. Okay, back to the center, I think. Maybe bishop c5. c6, trying to get some central squares. Um. Uh, king king safety will be good as well. Okay, at least the bishop hasn't got this diagonal potentially now. Uh, what am I doing here? So rookie at ninety five as a tactic. Okay, I'm giving up a bit of central control there, but uh, ninety five might be useful one day. Something like b6, just reinforcing queen side. Okay, this could be unpleasant. This is unpleasant. Um, time to sack. At least there's bishops blocked in for the moment. I get to play something. Oh, bishop e3, queen f2. Bishop e3 would be a good tactical move. Actually, if takes here, there's queen f1, mate, in this position. If he doesn't, oh, and bishop f2. If he moves his queen, queen e6, I've set a problem. You can go for the mate here with um, queen h4. Oh, he's dropped. He's dropped that instead. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't really want to open up that. Um, uh, it's going to open up, isn't it? The diagonal. What about rook. And we'll take just taking. Okay, keep this closed. So something like rook f four. Then the one to f eight. Got a good clock advantage here. Um, it's not quite back row, mate. I can play the rook back of queen e8. This one back. So I'll try and double. So there's rook f. Oh, rook f1. It's always dangerous. Or here, attacking the bishop on h2. That's handy. Okay, do I risk just taking the bishop or okay, I'll go back here? Oh, there's mate. I missed the mate. Oh. Queen h2 mate is a lot better. So it's two all. <clears throat> the weakness of the last move. Two all on the three minute. This is going to be a 
a grueling match against the three minute auto parry today. So, <clears throat> this guy going his revenge, beating an IM, and oh, another IM. Okay, let's play in the knock, noxious something system C3. Uh, maybe I'll take care and play H4 now. I'll change it to a, a hack attack. Um, okay. Is it quiet enough for black? It's got a few holes, maybe. To exploit. Okay. Castle Queen's on, I think. Now try and keep things intact over here. The Art of War. Consolidate the position for going on to the attack. It's not giving me too many squares. Okay, I've got E4 as a reinforced point. Um, but I need to get these knights going somewhere. D5, the rooks are not very um, coordinated. What about something like knight B3, just try and... Okay, that's good. I'm controlling E6 here for a moment. Uh, C file. I wouldn't mind the C file. Um, okay, what about Queen C6? Oh, knight's on that anyway. Okay, so Queen C6 here. Anything stronger? So I was hitting that thing. There might be Rook D6 if he's not careful. So we take, if I take here and rook d6, or anything strong here, bishop c4, I don't want to open up too many lines. I don't want to lose a4 in particular. Uh, okay, so time to take that, otherwise it's a dangerous pawn. Alright, let's play for rook. D8 or rook e6 and queen e5. Queen e5, good here. Oh, that's over. What's up when he's done? Well, okay, cool. The arms, second iron to bite the dust. Oh, good holes, you are bad. <laughs> uh, let's just play Slav. It's good and goose. Be solid. Maybe that will wind him up. Try and get some time on the clock. <coughs> um, three two at the moment on the auto pairing. All right, I'm just going to do that to wind him up. These pre moves on the clock. Uh, if he does get wound up by such things. Oh dear, just lost the piece. Oh great. For a pawn, not too bad. <laughs> Could be annoying, I don't know. Could that pawn be annoying? If I play knight e4, try and get his lights going, bishop. Or rook c8, try and just contest the c file calmly. Or this one actually, I'm going to lose a5. Nope. That's not too hot. Does this guy crack under pressure? That's the question. <laughs> Probably not. He's going to just mow my my pawns. Down. He's got knight c5 coming. He's going to take on b7 now. Wait, what about knight e4 here? Okay, what about a king side attack now? Time is ripe. <laughs> F6. <laughs> Trying to trap the knight. Uh oh. He's already on F6. Uh, how can he do that to me? I guess there's all that as well. He's got control of the position. 
quite mightily. Um, about rook d8, can I try and expose this, one of these knights as being loose or not? Actually, taking here and taking on c5 might be my chance. It's got rook g7 though, it's got rook c5. Rook d7 is rook c5, it's got rook g7. Uh, at the very least. Knight takes, there's, there might be rook c3. Ah, oh, he's gone for that. Okay. Because of rook a8. Right. What cheeky thing can I do here? Um. Um, could give up here, or play this. So king, a king move maybe. It's gonna play knight c5 again. Just beyond that, um, it's hopeless. Yep, gone. Yardbird got me again. That's not the opening to play against them. So what's what's going on? What's the score? I think it's like three all now. So minus one, two, three, one, two, three. It's three all. Tense match against the three minute auto pairing. <coughs> Eric Lobron, isn't it? Eric Lobron. That bishop move was a killer. So where was that? Once he's got control of c7, that's really uncomfortable. It's a killer bishop. He just waits for the right time to pounce with bishop c7. Okay. This guy again, is he going to get his revenge? Play this system again. Okay, he's closing up again. That's potentially dangerous. Pawn. What about g4? Just try and keep things open. Oh, best of my chance. So he's got a nice position again on. Or has he? Have I got knight c4? Was it really that nice on e5? Pressure on e5. What about g3? Just trying to open this up. This position. I suppose he could play um, b5. Go back. More pressure on e5 after taking. Um, okay. Trying to get something open up. So, what about like bishop d3 now for e5? Looks dangerous, sort of. Um, ah, now that looks like trouble. <clears throat> this e5, anyway. Strong wind g5, okay. Um, special e4 here. Knight d6 trying to distract bishop away from g5. Knight d6 takes, takes, he's got bishop d8. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna retreat this, I think. Try and keep pawn on c3. <clears throat> Otherwise, knight b4 is gonna be a killer. If he takes maybe, I oh don't know, c4 though. Uh, no, c4 here. B3, this looks like trouble. I'm just trying to attack G5, counter attack. Right, let's melt down with the position. Or have I got something with the pawn? Doesn't look too bad right now. And this is a knight A2 knockout blow. Um, no knight g5 there. Try and lift this uh, 
blockade off the e-pawn. Get out oh, knight c4. That's that's handy. So I'm threatening now rook g4 potentially. Okay, so try and get this blockade lifted on the diagonal. What about almost bishop f5? Uh, okay, rook on the seventh. Um. Okay. So oh, I can win that bishop. That's handy. <laughs> He's cracked up. <laughs> cracked up again against me on the king side. Uh, so it's four three. <clears throat> four three. Tense close match here. Just one more to go. Okay. I think yeah, it's better. F I think commentary than bullet. This so maybe just experimenting with these this match idea against the auto pairing. So there've been quite a few strong players here. Um, oh, can I win this to, to win the match? I was taking his time. That's a worrying sign. <laughs> Consistent move timings. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> Five seconds, three seconds every time. No, it look, doesn't look like a great position for white because d4. I don't know, it doesn't look. I'm sort of optimistic at the moment. <laughs> last Famous last words. <laughs> I can get e5 control here. g5 and f4, just get control of e5. That looks nice. Okay, comfortable position. Could take something to muck this one up. So knight d4 c5. Just reinforce control of d4. I'm going to evict this first. Or do I? I could leave that knight there. That knight h4. Just trying to tempt him to lose the dark squared bishop. Shattering my structure. Okay. Ah, uh, don't like losing the light square bishop much. Um. Oh, I'll go back here. I think because that bishop h4 is becoming a naughty option. Ah, uh, so don't really know what to do now. I'm stuck. What about Queen C8 just to, so he takes so I get control of G4? I don't want to lose control of G4. If I can get control of G4, I can play G4 as a pawn move. And then if I can do that, I can play F3. So I can get to play F3. That might be dangerous for white. I hope. Okay, so f3. Is he going to play g3 probably? Actually, um, this knight could be loose. Uh, could try and peel open h4. It's got an entry point here, so rook f7 maybe. Carry on with the h4 attack pretty soon. I'm still optimistic here. <coughs> Um, I'm going to take the bishop's got c3, so he has to take maybe the thing, carry on the attack here. Ah, okay. Knight can spring in now. So it's knight e2 going to be dangerous. Because I'm potentially getting rook f1 in if he's not careful. If I get rook f1 in, there's a threat of e1. Oh! Under the piece. So it's Queen F7 next. Ah, uh, here's provisional. So that's the end of that match. Hope you enjoyed it, guys, more than the bullet. I think there was better commentary, and also there was a lot of title players there, considering it was, um, yeah, a mini sort of match. 
Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, comments or questions? Actually, actually, just one question is who is that I am I played twice? Um, who's this guy? Does he say? Levon Pan Bu Bushian. I am Va Valentin Pam Pam Bushian. Okay. Thanks very much.